Let's practice what we learned with Soka Toa with this question. Here we have to solve this triangle. What does it mean to solve a triangle? It means to find all the angles and all the sides. So since there's three angles and three sides to any triangle, that really means we have to find six things. Uh, let's start by just giving all the sides and angles names. Usually we call the right angle C if possible. It doesn't matter too much, but it's kind of normal. And then we'll call the other two acute angles A and B. The side that's opposite to the right angle, we'll call that little c. Uh, this side will be B, and this side will be little a. So well, on the side here, to list our answers, why don't we write A equals, B equals, C equals. Those are going to be our three sides. And then over here, we have our three angles. All right. Now... We know some of these already, don't we? Like for example, right here, this 22 degrees, that's the value of angle A. So we can fill that in right away. We know this side, little b, is 14. So 14 meters. And uh, also we know angle C, right? It's 90 degrees. So in some sense, these three are given to us for free, but we do need to find these other three quantities, little a, little c, and angle b. Now. Angle B is easy, right? Because if we know in this triangle, if this is 90 and this is 22, we can easily find the value of that angle, right? Now, I'll just show you quickly. There's maybe two ways to do it. Well, one way would be like this. Angle B is what? Well, we know all the angles is 180. So we could do 180 minus 90 minus 22, right? And what does that give us? Well, I think it's 68 degrees. So angle B is 68 degrees. If you want to just know a little shortcut, you know, in a right triangle, since this is 90 always, that means the sum of these two acute angles has to be 90 as well, because 90 plus 90 is 180. A fancy way of saying that is that the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. In other words, these two angles here add up to 90. So you could just, if you wanted a shortcut, you could just say angle B is 90 minus this angle, right? And of course, you get the same answer, 68 degrees. All right, so either way you do it, we come up with angle B being 68. Now, let's use trigonometry to find either side A or C. Let's, we really could find either first. It doesn't matter. Let's say we find side C, okay? Now, we know this 14 and we know this 22. Let's involve those two sides. Which angle should I look from? Well, since I have my 22 here, why don't I place my eye here? I'll be looking from there. And when I do that, then I know what opposite and adjacent mean. Op if I'm looking from angle A here, opposite is this side A here. Adjacent is this side down here. And of course, no matter which angle I look from, this is the hypotenuse. So I want to involve the adjacent and the hypotenuse, A and H. Which trig function in Sokotoa involves A and H? Well, I think it's cosine, right? So cosine of the angle I'm looking from, so cosine 22, is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And there is my trig ratio, which is going to allow me to find side C. Now, so cos 22, why don't we just evaluate that and see what it is? Uh, I think that's 0 0.927 equals 14 over C. You can put that over 1. And uh, C is going to be 14 times 1 divided by 0 0.927. I could go a little slower if you like. Uh, you know, just cross multiplying here. This times this would be 0 0.927C equals 14 times 1, which is 14. Divide both sides by 0 0.927. So C is 14 divided by that quantity. And therefore, C is equal to what? Well, let's see. 14 divided by 0.927. Let's say 15.1. So that's the length of side C, 15.1. Okay, now we reach a, an important little concept here. Um, this is 15.1. We just found that. Now, to find side A, we actually have two choices. We can use trigonometry again. Uh, we would use opposite, which uh, if we're looking from this angle again, we'd use opposite over 
adjacent. Or since we know this is 15.1 and this is 14, we could use um, Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite side, right? Which one is better? Well, really it doesn't matter, but there is an important thing to think about. Let's say we made a mistake here. I don't think we did, but let's say we made a mistake on this 15.1. If we use the Pythagorean theorem with 15.1 and 14 to find this side, this would also be wrong because 15.1 would be wrong. So in some sense, it's better not to use this number to find side A, because if we use trigonometry again with the 22 and the 14, even if this 15.1 was wrong, we still stand a chance to get the right answer over here. So the moral of, is always try to use the given information as much as possible. You know, same thing with this 68 here. If I would have started, let's say 68 was wrong. I don't think it is, but if it was, and I tried to do my work with this 68 and it was, 68 was wrong, everything that follows that would be wrong as well. So I'm going to try my best to use the 22 and the 14 in just about everything, okay? So let's find side A using the 22 and the 14. When I look from the 22 degree angle, this is my opposite side and this is my adjacent side. I want to use the trig function that involves O and A, which is tan. So tangent of the angle I'm looking from, tan 22, is the opposite side A over the adjacent side, which is 14. And tan of 22 is what? It's uh, 0 0.404 equals A over 14. I could put this over 1, I guess. 1 times A is A. And 14 times 0 0.404 is 5.7, say, if I round to one decimal place. And so that's, so this is my C, this is my A, and up here is my B. And so I'll just fill that in here. So notice I found this 5.7 using the given information with tw of 22 and 14. And I also found the side C with the given information. And it's always best to use the gi given information as much as possible. Like I said, the reason for that is just because if you make a mistake on one of these other values, and then you use it to find the next value, that next value will also be wrong. Whereas if you use the given information all the time, even if you make a mistake on a previous value, you still stand a chance of getting uh, the next value correct. So we've we solved the triangle, which in other words, we found all the angles and all the sides, and we used two applications of Sokotoa to do that.